Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your July 2023 general monthly reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. If you are new to me, welcome. Thank you guys for checking out my channel, for stopping by. I do read intuitively, so don't just go based off what you see on the table. Your monthly is a nine card spread for the beginning, middle, and ending of the month, along with some energy oracle, and we'll see what else I am called to bring in. <clears throat> Your playlist will be linked up here, <laughs> so you can check out all the Virgo readings your monthly weekly bonus lives whatever is out there <clears throat> look at this interesting interesting july 2023 for virgo sun moon rising and venus signs i mean right off the bat friends ace of wands ace of cups and page of wands hello someone new coming in very passionate hot sexy flirty doesn't make someone happy though as soon as they find out who it is might be someone you already know might be someone who's a little jealous about you not moving forward with them. Or how dare you move forward with someone else, I should say. Your major arcana here is at the end of the month with the Tower card, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands here at the end of the month. So this is going to be some sort of, you know, shocking turn of events here. I'm, I'm feeling like you're calling someone out about their, um, let's just call it adventurous ways. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, you do have the page of pentacles. Oh, another page, page of swords. Could be two children or two younger individuals here surrounding a family situation, a union, a reunion, something going on here between the two. Let's see what the energy oracle has for the month for you guys. I'm going to pull a few here. Oops. We have the card of strategy. Feel like someone's trying to figure out a way to come back into your life. Could be you also trying to figure out some sort of strategy in terms of maneuvering your way out of a connection, out of a relationship, or a sticky situation. You also have the card of attachment and six chakra Archangel Metatron. By the way, before I forget you guys, I did get a new microphone. Let me know if the sound is good, if you guys can hear me okay, if there are any issues, you know. I'm trying to upgrade things here, but this is a new mic. Let me know how it sounds. I'm going to also pull, let me see. I was called to the daily angel or the daily guidance from your angels deck. I'm gonna pull a few of these as well. Card of innocence. Blessing in disguise. And entrepreneur, I love it, okay. So here we go. Your energy oracle for the month. You do have the card of strategy. Card number 21 and card number five with the card of attachment as well as six chakra archangel Metatrons. Now, six chakra, six chakra archangel metatron is your third eye very much highlighting uh spiritual communication connections and communication with your higher self um i'm also hearing future self so you're tapping into future energy to figure out are you on the right path am i are you making the right decisions uh, what's next for me? I'm feeling like there's a lot of those types of questions, but not like you're in this energy of nervousness or anxiety, but more so excitement, more so looking forward to the future. I do get a very strong feeling here with the card of attachment that either you are very attached and, to, and committed to a specific outcome or person, okay? Now, the attachment card can also be a little bit of a block or a little bit of a, um, you know, speed bump along the way that can slow things down. I feel like you may be anticipating this or your intuition, your third eye is 
letting you know, listen, anticipate this type of speed bump, this type of issue that may be coming up later on. And so you are trying to figure out how to strategize, how to move forward, how to work through these types of issues that may come up. Now, I do feel that with the strategy card here, for those of you that are single, you may be trying to figure out, okay, what's new, what's out there? How do I get back out there? Um, is online dating still a thing? Is going out with friends still a thing? Is, you know, I feel like you're exploring your options here. When it comes to business though, I do feel like you are sitting down and taking this very, very seriously. Your business up level, taking things to the next step. This could be promotions, this could be career, this could be deciding to go back to school. This could be making things very real and concrete, right? Creating a website, getting your business license, uh, looking for property to lease or rent or buy, right? It, it just feels like there's a lot of that uh, planning going on, especially in the beginning of the month. I really love the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Page of Wands here. You also have the card of Innocence here. It says, Beloved One, everyone is guiltless in truth no, as no one can alter God's handiwork or perfection give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load give us any guilt anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook enjoy the peace within your heart even more so i do feel like if you are you know at a place in your life where you're saying you know i've i've shed all the weight the tears the um you know, the past connections that I've still held on to for quite some time. And now I'm ready for new. Now I'm ready to explore. Now I'm ready to figure out what's next for me. I feel like there has been some sort of yes attachment to someone specific or someone specific has a very, very strong attachment to you. Could be emotional, could be energetic, um, you know, could be karmic, karmic cords. It can also be financial. You may be in some sort of contract with someone. For example, you can have a home together. You could be married. That's a contractual agreement. Uh, you can, you know, have children, have pets. You can have businesses with both your names on them and you're trying to figure out, okay, how do we, you know, move away from each other and still uh, figure out how to do this diplomatically because the card of strategy really is you really trying to hone in on what's the key objective how do we move forward how do we do this right how do we not screw ourselves over in the process and if it's you know trying to strategize to get out of a specific situation agreement contract whatever it may be you're definitely on that rise of looking forward more so to new beginnings, new chapters, new jobs, new loves, whatever the newness may be for you. I definitely feel like there's a lot of excitement and, you know, I just heard hunger. So there's a lot of hunger for something new, a lot of hunger for, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I just heard hunger for new meat. So some of you may be really looking into the market for that. You also have the Four of Cups, King of Cups, and the Two of Swords. If there's been some sort of emotional discontentment, specifically with a water sign as well, you have very strong Scorpio energy here, but it could be any sign, really. They could have Scorpio in their chart. You do have a lot of, um, you know, you do have water here, but you, you know, you have every sign here, so it doesn't really matter. However, Scorpio stands out very strongly here. I do feel like if there is some sort of um, vision that you had with this person, a vision of a future, a vision of long-term success, a vision of, you know, co-parenting or partnerships or uh, eventually, you know, living together, having a life together, growing together. I feel like that has really been stagnant for a very long time, but there's still a specific attachment to this, to either this person or this outcome or them to you, like someone not wanting you to move on with your life. It's clear as day. You know, in some cases, it could be the other way around. You don't want someone to move on without you because you really want to work things out with this person. 
at the end of the day, spirit here is saying, listen, this has been a blessing in disguise. You may not see it. You may not feel it. The fact that things didn't work out or having certain realizations that make you realize, yeah, a lot of time has passed and here I am still in the same place as before, right? I do feel like if you are single looking for love and you've held yourself back, you're now clear about what you don't want because I feel like you've been sitting in that energy for quite some time. But you're also very clear on what you do want because now without any type of worry or stress or conviction, you're going after what you want. And so this really has been a blessing in disguise. If this was business, you know, you took a wrong turn somewhere and not that it was bad altogether, but it did bring you to a path where it leads you to what it is you truly want for yourself. It is 222 on my clock, by the way. So clearly partnerships, you know, and and some sort of divine guidance, being at the right place at the right time is being highlighted here for you. So this blessing in disguise says, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. Amen, spirit. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Yes, absolutely. Rejection is God's protection. So we also have six chakra Archangel Michael. I'm sorry, Archangel Metatron. This is Archangel Michael. Uh, but I'm really feeling like you are really tapped into your third eye at the moment. Uh, you know, your intuition is on point. You know to that you're able to trust your intuition much more strongly. Very, I keep hearing the word fierce. Like you are unapologetically being you, Virgo. And I'm here for it. Absolutely love it. Fellow Virgo here. So I know what that feels like when you're just like, to hell with this, to hell with them. Enough is enough. I know who I am, what I'm deserving of, and how I'm going to keep moving forward. And some of you have really, really put in a lot of effort into a new connection or into a connection that you had hoped would have a second opportunity or some sort of resurgence of love. There was a specific attachment to a specific outcome. I also feel that there is someone who is very much holding on to you energetically, refusing to let you go, dead set on you being there no matter what. Even if they've moved on with their life, even if they've, if they're like, have no intention to come back into your life anytime soon, they just don't want you to. They don't want you to move on with your life, you know? And so there is this need for breaking free from karmic contracts from you know karmic ties uh and and being able to just say that's it listen you're not here for me enough is enough you're now gonna feel it you're you're gonna feel me walking away tenfold i do feel that this is going to be like a shock to someone um whether this is emotionally financially you know energetically even if you do like cord cutting things of that nature i do feel that you do have this realization that this person was never really going to give you what you truly wanted if this resonates with you right this isn't for those of you that are like happily married and in really great marriages relationships commitments but i do feel that some of you will have a sudden realization towards the end of the month now in business because you do have the entrepreneur card here, which I love for my Virgo businesses here, business entrepreneur people. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Work for yourself. A, a working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your coworkers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways i do feel like some of you that have been on the path to entrepreneurship or have been working on um you know higher level of education and you know working on getting promoted working on getting noticed recognized on you know i just heard some of you are switching gears switching lanes so uh, could be 
along the lines of whatever your specialty field career is in, uh, but you're switching gear, switching lanes. So it's along the lines, but not directly connected to, but it, enough where your skills, gifts, abilities, and you know your excitement for something new is really calling you in. So that could be a sudden change that you weren't expecting. I also feel that with this Knight of Wands here, it does feel like it's a new adventure for you. So those of you that are entrepreneurs or are on, are on your path to entrepreneurship, I do feel as though there is something here that's calling you. Either, like I said, switching gears, so it's along the same path of what you've been doing, just maybe offering new things or offering new... I'm hearing your options will have, um, or your offerings will have more options. So it could be good for you. I definitely feel that it will be a very positive change of events here. Entrepreneurship for Virgo. Let me have a card for entrepreneurship for Virgo. Toil and labor and expectation. So I do feel that that, that tower card, for most of you, what it really feels like to me is you have a clear expectation of busting your ass, putting in the work, thinking like, oh, I've got to put in grueling hours and all this stuff. But then you find like the secret to your success kind of accidentally because you stumble across something that suddenly gets you noticed, that suddenly gets you on the path to promotion, to more money, to recognition, whatever it may be. I do feel it's almost like the energy of, of sudden growth, especially if you've got something like social media, YouTube, if you've got an online business. I feel like you have this expectation of, okay, in the beginning, it's going to be a struggle. I know I got to put in a lot of work. But then you realize it happens a lot faster and it's happening a lot faster for you. And so I really like this for you. Now, others of you, I feel like the expectation of having success for putting in the hard work is what you've kind of been waiting on. Like you haven't seen the results just yet because you have the seven of pentacles here. And so you're feeling a little stressed out and in despair if that's the energy that you've been feeling like wondering, is this really worth my time, energy, effort? Do I throw in the towel or do I keep going? What is the advice for Virgo? Uh, for those of you that are looking for advice, it could be held like within a family unit. You could be reaching out to friends, family members, having a little bit of a you know, family meeting of what do I do now? Um, especially if you've exhausted funding, you're trying to figure out how to make ends meet month to month. Uh, how can you get others involved to help you out here? I do see that happening. Yeah, see, you could be offering, you know, people an opportunity to help you, employment, things of that nature. Um, you could also be putting your resume out there to get something that can be more regular to pay the bills in while you continue on this moonlighting side job. So work, work out a resolution or a solution that works for you, your situation and your family. Now, let me have a couple cards here for the attachment and the four of cups in love. Yeah, see, you have a new opportunity. Just like I said, there may be someone who just doesn't want to let you go. You've grown, you've healed, you've changed. You're ready for something new. You're ready for someone new. And you're not holding back anymore. I feel like you're just like, uh-uh, I got my wings. I'm about to fly. Yeah, some of you are going through divorce. Look at that. Some of you are going through divorce, legal separation, separation of assets. You're trying to figure things out that way. Um, you know, you may be worried about whether or not this relationship is going to help you stay out of poverty. Um, you're, I feel like there's a few of you that are also wondering, should I be dating if I'm still trying to figure out how to make ends meet? But I'm also feeling 
like there's some sort of emotional bankrupt energy between this relationship that you are now separating from, okay? So I'm hearing that very, very clearly. Uh, so, you know, it just feels as though there are some people here not ready to let you go. But it's more of a possessive uh, attachment rather than a loving, caring emotional one uh, if that makes sense i mean i'm pretty sure it does i'm just trying not make it sound so bad right so let me just pull a couple tea leaf well that was quick <laughs> if the card of rooster an arrogant boastful person you should not cross probably a fair man so dealings or relationships with a man with blonde gray or white hair that could be you. That could be someone you're dealing with. That could be someone you're separating, divorcing, someone that you perhaps no longer want to deal with. They could be this arrogant, boastful person that you do not want to cross. I feel like they could come across very threatening. You have the card of the August. You could be an August Virgo. You have the card of Tiger doing something risky and taking a chance. So there could be something that you are taking a risk on, taking a chance on. Uh, I, I do feel like with the month of August, there could be some sort of communication that you're receiving in the month of August, especially if your birthday is August. You may be receiving some sort of uh, well wishes or communication from someone who's trying to find their way back into your life. For others of you, I feel like this shit will, sorry to break it to you, will finally calm down in August, right? You have the card, I told you, the card of tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. So yes, we are at the end of June when I'm recording this. So whenever you watch this in July, just know that slowly but surely you are getting ahead. That looks like August ends up being your wonderful month of wealth, of abundance, of success, of freedom is how I'm feeling it, okay? That is your reading for the month of July. Make sure you check out your weekly readings, you guys. Your playlist is here. I will link whatever reading I have for you, probably this week's or next week's or whatever week you're watching. I'll try to keep up with all the tags here. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, um, not sure when you're watching this, I may still have dates available in my calendar. Because I'm recording this in June, I believe there's still some June dates left, but I have not opened anything in July because I'm changing things up. But I just want to send you guys so much love and support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Like, you have no idea. I love doing this for you guys. So give it a thumbs up. Show me some love here to keep this channel going. And make sure you guys subscribe. Take care. Bye.